Hello, and welcome to a quick, simple tutorial on creating a simple jQuery lightbox pop-up. Okay, this is an example of the page that we're going to create, where you can open up a lightbox and close it. Uh, very simple, and uh, just wanted to show you how this is implemented. Uh, it's not really going to show you how to create a lightbox plugin. However, it'll just show you the basic functionality of how a lightbox works. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, this is just a blank index.html page, and I'm going to go ahead and insert a basic HTML structure, and I'll just call this quick, simple, lightbox. And we'll also want to include the jQuery library in the page. And I'll just go ahead and go to <coughs> jQuery.com and instead of downloading the library I'll just link to it from the Google libraries here okay and in the page I'll just put a simple header this is my web page And if I save it, I just want to show you every process along the way. This is what we end up with right here. <clears throat> and uh, another thing that we're going to need is in most jQuery lightbox pop-ups, there's a dim backdrop when the lightbox is shown, and this is going to be that backdrop. So we'll give it a class of backdrop. And we'll also need our box for our actual lightbox that pops up. <clears throat> Inside this box, we'll want to have a close button, and we'll just insert some text in here. This is the light box. All right, and we'll want to add some style to the page. We'll start off with the body and give it a font family of Helvetica and Arial. Okay, and instead of me typing up all of uh, the CSS for the backdrop, the box, and the close, I'll just uh, simply open up a notepad that I've saved the CSS attributes in here, and then I'll just briefly explain them to you. <clears throat> okay, here's the uh, backdrop that is basically dimming down the lights from the page. I've just set it to a position of absolute, top left, zero pixels. Uh, the width and height is 100%, a black background, the op opacity is set to 0, z-index of 50, and display is set to none. With the box, the same thing, position absolute, I've just uh, statically set top and left 20% and 30%. This will change dynamically <clears throat> whenever you create a more advanced light box. Just giving it a width and height of 500 pixels and 300 pixels. Uh, I can remove this display, because down here we have display none. Uh, the uh, white background is the index one higher than the backdrop and we give it a padding of 10 pixels and here we have a uh, 5 pixel radius so we have rounded corners and we have a simple uh, drop shadow here just to give it kind of a nicer look and the close button is just set to float right a margin right of 6 pixels and the cursor is set to pointer so if you want to see what this looks like without you know what it's going to look like. I can just set these both to block. I'll set the opacity set to 50%. If I go back to the page and I view it here, you can see this is <clears throat> basically what we're going to get on the page. Right now there's no functionality because we haven't added any of that yet. So we'll set the opacity back to zero. And the display is set to none. So the page will just look as follows. And we'll probably want to add a link which will uh, open up this lightbox. We'll call, give it a class of lightbox. Okay, so if we go back to the page, that's what we're given with. No functionality as of yet. <clears throat> but we'll change that by adding some JavaScript.
and this is just a you know some basic jQuery. You know this is set to always be you know ready for any type of event that's going to happen during the page. Um, I'll also post a link to a jQuery 101 tutorial if you're not familiar with this. Um, so in here we want to set when the light box is clicked. We want to set <clears throat> the backdrop and the box display property to block. So we'll set backdrop and box display property to block. And if we view the page now <clears throat> and we click on the button, you can see that the light box is shown. However, the backdrop is not shown. And this is because right now it still has <clears throat> an opacity value of zero. So we'll want to go ahead and change that and have both the backdrop and the box uh, kind of fade in. So we'll create an animation. Dot animate. And we'll set opacity to, let's set this one to 50%. And <clears throat> let's see, we'll give it a speed of 300 and we want it to be displayed in a linear fashion. So we actually only want the backdrop to be displayed at 50%. We want the actual box to be displayed at 100%. So instead of 0 0.50, this will just be set to 1.00. So if we view the page, you can see that it comes in with a nice little animation. And let's see, we have the close button. Let's add an X there. And if you view the page, we have a nice little close right there. But it's not doing anything because we haven't added the functionality of that just yet. <clears throat> So we can simply do that by setting a click event for close. All right, and we'll want to do basically the same thing, except we'll want to set these values to zero. So we want to animate the opacity to zero, 300 linear, and we want to wrap this around a function. And inside this function, we want to say once it's once the animation has completed, we want to set the display property to none. So the backdrop in the box CSS display will be set to none after opacity has reached a zero. So if we load that page up and we click open light box <clears throat> and we click the close button, you'll see it fades down as well. Um, most of the time in a light box, when people click outside of the area, you want it to close as well. And we can simply do that by adding a click event for the backdrop. Click. And instead of just copying and pasting this code, we'll just uh, create a function called close box. And we'll put that code right in there. So we can use the close box function right here and the close box function here as well. Now, when we go to view the page and you click open light box and you click anywhere outside, you will see that the light box will close. All right. So that's basically it. It's just a quick, simple jQuery lightbox. Uh, of course, there are other things that you'll want to keep in mind when you're creating your jQuery lightbox, such as dynamic content, dynamic height, and width of the lightbox. Although I just wanted to show you the simplest representation of creating a lightbox. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.